the New Orleans Saints. And I am I'm kind of excited about this one. Ten and a half is their win total. Two full games over the Tampa Bay Bucks. They needed wide receiver help, linebacker help, and defensive line help. Um uh, I don't know that they really got any of that with this class. I you know, this this whole thing. I mean, they traded away basically their entire draft. You know, uh, Tim, by the way, said two miles from the stadium tailgate party. I, hey, I'm down. I like Tampa. I ain't got a problem with Tampa. Bush Gardens, buddy. Let's do this. Let's do this. I, hey, Tim, hit me up on the DMs. Let's uh, let's plan this. We, we got to go see Michael in Denver, and we got to go to Tampa. So, <laughs> hopefully, Chris, you're okay with that. Um, we got a lot of traveling to do this year. The Saints took four draft picks this year. They took uh, Cesar Ruiz out of Michigan in round one, offensive lineman. They took linebacker Zach Bond out of Wisconsin in the third round, which was kind of a steal because there were some people talking about him going early second. They got him at 74. Round three, they traded basically their entire draft to trade up and get tight end Adam Troutman out of Dayton, who nobody knows anything about. If anybody says that they watched Adam Troutman play a full game of football, you are straight lying through your teeth right now. Uh, he, he's got all the measurables. He looks good. If you look at his highlights, sure. Why not? But I don't know. And then in round seven, now this has become a big NFL thing. Have you seen all the stories that have come out about this? About, uh, about Tommy Stevens? So apparently yeah. the Panthers had talked about, you know, signing, or, or the Saints thought that the Panthers had been talking to Tommy Stevens that they were going to sign him as an undrafted free agent. So the Saints traded back into the seventh round. They took Tommy Stevens, quarterback out of Mississippi State, in the seventh round. And they took him in hopes of trading him to Carolina. You know, blah, blah. It, basically they took him because somebody in their division wanted him and had already worked out some kind of a deal as an undrafted free agent before the draft was done. So then the Saints traded in and just took him anyway, even if they didn't really want him. Because, I mean, the Saints have already got Jameis and Taysom Hill and Drew Brees on the roster. No, nobody's going to do that either. Like, you're keeping another team from getting them, but you're not. At some point in time, you've got too many quarterbacks on the roster. So now yeah. you have four quarterbacks on the roster that you can't carry. Right. All right. If you waste a roster spot on, and as soon as you designate him for the practice squad, anybody can go get him. Yeah. All right. So. Um, you're either going to carry four quarterbacks and give up a, a a roster spot of the 53 man. That's that's tough to do, brother. Oh yeah. Or, ben Ben on YouTube said they now have three and a half quarterbacks. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but I I think that's a that's a this is a this is a a thing that I don't like at all. They've this is a team that's drafted really well the last couple of years. And, uh, and and they've built their team in a pretty impressive way, so it's yeah. hard to question them. But I just I just disagree with worrying about what your other teams in your division are doing. You make your team better, and don't don't play these games. Don't dick around. Take who you need to take, because what are you going to get back for him? You're not going to trade him in the division. That's just not going to happen. And they're not going to give you any real asset. For a guy that's a unproven. Pick. There's a yeah. reason that he's an undrafted free agent. They want to see what he looks like when they work him out and, you know, whatever. So, I just disagree with that. Uh, Michael said Carolina will eventually get him if they want. They're not going to keep him on the roster. And then Matt said, does Hill really count as a quarterback? Ben responded to him and said, half a quarterback. Yeah, at Taysom Hill, you know, I don't know that they're actually going to list him. But you're as using a, a 53 man but, roster spot for him every yeah. sa- uh, every every Sunday. That's the the, the reason this is a, such a big deal is because it is uh, against league policy to make deals with uh, draftees before the draft is over. That's why the Saints took him. It's the whole thing's goofy. Like obviously, we know that teams make deals with players before the draft is done. Otherwise. They wouldn't have contracts done immediately after the draft. As soon as, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, these guys know if you get, but here's the thing telling a kid if you don't get drafted, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think there is having either. a deal in place, but if you don't get drafted, tells them we like you, but we're not going to draft you. Uh, we, we like you, but we may not have enough draft picks. Yeah. Well, it just says they're not going to draft them. If you're working out an undrafted deal with them, you're not drafting that kid. That's a, that's a very good point. So, the Saints, uh, four picks, 
Um, you know, Ruiz, like, uh, let, let's talk about the the ones that they did get. Let, let's so leave the Tommy. first two picks I like. The other two I don't know anything about. Well, the, the quarterback pick I know, I, that was a dumb yeah, pick. Yeah, to, Tommy way. Stevens, like, he, he, I mean, he dealt with a and, ton and of injuries. I also don't think Tommy Stevens is projecting to be a good quarterback in the NFL. Either. No, I don't think so. so. I, I think he might be a Taysom Hill kind of guy. Uh, Michael said, I don't get the Caesar pick. With Breeze having a couple years left, you'd think they'd get immediate help. I, I think they feel like Ruiz could be immediate help. Yeah. I just don't see it. Um, You know, I, I think, like, here's the thing. The measurables, like, you, you don't see it with the measurables. But if, if you watch the tape of Michigan, like, Cesar Ruiz is a beast, and he comes to work on every single play, yep. even if he's not that pretty, you know, 6'5", 340-pound, you know, whatever guy. He is still a stud, and he just it, I, I, I part of me really likes that underdog card. They got a lot of underdog kind of guys on this team, and he kind of fits into that mold. I think I kind of like that pick. I, the linebacker, Zach Bond out of Wisconsin, yeah. like it, pick. that's an incredible value pick. Like, incredible value. To get him in the third round is ridiculous. I, I think that was a really good pick. So those, I think, are great. The the tight end, Adam Troutman, I don't know the first thing about him. But nope. if if they liked him enough to trade the rest of their draft to go up and get him, you know, I'm a I'm a trust Sean Payton and that bunch to make sure so, that, uh, that so this I, is the right I guy. Heard, I heard some logic by about t- Sean Payton trading all those because they were all sixth and seventh round draft picks that they traded. It was a bunch of them, but he didn't give up anything that wasn't a sixth or a seventh round pick. Okay, yeah. so. The logic behind that is Sean Payton said, we're always going to be able to pick up another six-round pick or a or seventh-round pick because the, the Vikings aren't going to be able to sign all those guys. And all these other teams are going to drop guys that they drafted to. And yeah, then I mean, we the, can the just Jags had, them. what, 15 picks? I mean, it, yeah. they're not going to so, sign so, them all. So they're saying that the concept of if there's a guy available that you want and all you're doing is trading – large volumes of late round picks and there's nobody late that you've got your eye on that you want to take a flyer on just just deal the picks get the dude you want because all of these other teams are going to cut guys oh yeah and when they do you don't have to cut anybody you'll actually need two or three more guys and you'll be able to go pick those guys up for nothing it's a very smart way of looking at it uh ben said this is a good question why is everyone getting labeled as Taysom Hill? First it was Jalen, now it's Tommy Stevens. Uh, look, it, it. I don't know Hang that on. Taysom Hill brought a whole lot to the table anyway. That, my question is this, not why is he, I'm asking a different question than this, not why is everyone getting labeled as Taysom Hill? Why do we think he's that valuable for a That's, guy? You're going to pull your quarterback, the most important player in all of football, off the field to run a gadget play with this other guy that does something different. Yes, he makes defenses worry and practice and spend time working on things that they don't normally have to work on. You know what? I would rather, if you told me, Chris, you got to play the Saints. But don't worry, five plays in that game, they're going to pull Drew Brees off of it. Now, because of that, we got to spend time trying to, to stop this other kid. And here's the things that he does differently. I would be happy with that because those are five plays that Drew Brees can't make a big play. Yeah, hundred percent. I just you. don't understand that the math doesn't make sense. Bill Belichick used to have a rule. Now he obviously changed it a couple of years ago, but he used to have a rule. They used to run a lot of trick plays where they ran, you know, the the, the flea flickers, all stuff where the you know the end arounds receiver or a running back would throw the football or whatever. And none of them worked very well. And finally, Bill said, listen, we have Tom fucking Brady. Nobody throws the football but Tom. That's my rule, and I'm done. Now, now, he did have Julian throw five touchdowns. that's what I'm saying. They changed that only for Julian. But even still, they kept Tom on the field. One one trick play. But, you know, you're not even running trick plays with Taysom. You don't even have the element of disguise because, yeah, Breeze comes off, so we know exactly what you're doing. I'm I gotta get an answer on this. Michael jumped in and said, another system quarterback. Now are you talking about Breeze or you're talking about Taysom Hill? Like it surely surely you ain't talking about Breeze. 
Breeze is unbelievable. Like I, I will say this, he he kind of helped invent the spread with Joe Tiller at uh, at Purdue, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Taysom Mills' contract, by the way, that he just signed, um, signing bonus, he gets a guaranteed four million this year, four million next year, guaranteed his base salary. Ten point seven million in twenty twenty one, only eight hundred forty one thousand this year. Uh, his dead cap space for this season is sixteen million. Next year it is, or sorry, cap hit this season four point eight million. Next year it is sixteen point one five nine million dollars. Is he worth sixteen million dollars to your cap next year? You do realize Andy Dalton just signed for three million dollars, right? I'm just like, if he becomes the starter, he gets seven. I don't get it. Uh, Michael's talking about Hill. This is a okay. team that's really bad at cap space, by the way. If you look at the Saints every year, they're one of the. They just keep living on borrowed time. I keep thinking that eventually, this is a team that's going to go from 12, 13 wins, compete for a Super Bowl to falling off a cliff because at some point in time, the cap comes for all of us. It's like yeah. the government and taxes, baby. They at One day, you're going to have to pay. They're going to pay, and, and they can't keep signing these contracts the way they are and living the way they do, but they do. I've been saying that for six, seven years. I know. One I, day, I mean, it's, the, the, they're going to have to let everybody go. It's, it's really don't. been the last four years – like four years it's straight, been we've been trying to figure out how in the world are they fielding a competitive team. And right now, they've got a they've got a great roster right now. Like, well, I'm going to tell you how they have drafted better than anybody in the. I, I do believe over the last four years, they have hit more on their draft picks and busted less on their draft picks than anybody else. So, so we trust their uh, their draft. Let's go ahead and talk about whether we not or uh, whether or not we like their draft. Cedar Ruiz, Zach Bond, and Adam Troutman. We're gonna. Keep I like Tommy the Stevens first two, of but everything else I know about this team, I, I'm going to say no. That doesn't mean that I'm right, but I, I don't like this at all. It, I love Braun, and I, you know. Yeah, Zach Braun, uh, Cesar, I think I, I think I like Cesar Ruiz. I think I like this draft. I, th- I mean, it's only three picks. It's hard to it, say. I mean, you it's they don't have as many picks, bites at the You've got to take into effect all those guys they gave up to get the four picks. Yeah, uh, Ben jumped and in. And I hate one, one of their picks I think they completely wasted. I think they just threw away. Yeah, that's Ben said, why would the Saints draft a Taysom Hill when they literally have the Taysom Hill? Have Taysom Hill. And they've got him locked up for at least two years, and they can't get rid of him. They can't move him. Yeah, but, I mean, the dead cap is, I mean, it's absurd. Like, even if you were to cut him. Yeah. Like, so, it, so God, it costs out of so the much. four picks, one we don't know anything about, and the other one we openly dislike, how on earth can I say I like that? And the I mean, one I don't know I, anything I, about, you gave up like seven picks to get that guy. <laughs> it, but, but you admitted like they didn't, they didn't, they were, it was but all guys you would take flyers. I would rather, I'll tell you this. That's I would rather take flyers. Philosophy. That's his philosophy. I would rather have control over the flyers I'm taking because if you get the Donovan Peoples-Jones, if you get the, 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 the Kenny Hill or Hamlin or whatever, the guy from Ohio State, if you hit on those guys, then you're not cutting them. Those guys aren't getting cut. You're cut. You're getting guys that are getting cut from other teams. I would rather have control over the guys I bring in and let me do the cut. That's, I, yeah, I'm with you. Okay, I can understand. I, this dude better turn into Gronk. He better turn into Jimmy right. Graham, or he ain't worth it. Let me before we close off of the Saints. Let me look and see what his measurables were. Adam Troutman out of Dayton. Uh, he is six foot five. Let's see. He's a kind of an older guy, from what I understand. I think he's a fifth-year senior. Red, yeah, redshirt senior, six five, two hundred fifty-five pounds. Um, okay, you know he ran a four eight forty yard dash, uh, eighteen bench press, thirty four and a half vertical jump, one hundred fourteen broad jump, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, three cone drill, six point seven eight. That's pretty good time. Twenty yard shuffle or twenty yard shuttle. Underwear Olympian. This is what you take late. This is not what you give up your whole late for. For for uh for one guy, I mean if he if he turns out then the draft is a win. If he didn't, then okay. As a, Maui looks yes. good there, man. A very majestic looking. 
getting big. He is getting big. Good gracious. He's, he's like, not real happy that I'm not giving him attention. No, I can I can tell. I he's can understand. Me we're hey, going too long. Lincoln was the same way. I understand. So we we he's are just in, quiet. This 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 one don't make any noise. Now you got that right. The other one just yells all the time. Good lord. Uh, let's move in. Let's talk about the next one. 